editing your raw insta360 images how to get them from this to this <laughs> What's good everybody, my name is Jeshu, welcome to my channel and in today's video we will be talking about editing those raw Insta360 images. A couple of weeks ago I got this Insta360 ONE X camera and mana, I tell you, it's magic. I posted shots from it onto my social media. My friends are all confused, they be asking me like, how do you get that shot? Is that a drone? Have you got a friend with you? You ain't got no friend. How do you get that shot? <laughs> Even when I explain to my friends that between myself and the camera there's a giant 3 meter pole, still people don't quite get it. Your 360 camera is still very new to most people so the idea of it and how it works is still very confusing. Anyways, I want to take raw photos just so I can get the max out of them, you know, edit them in post processing and get the colors just the way I want it to be. By default, the Insta360 images favor a vibrant, highlighted photo which is good if you want to post up to social media straight away maybe in the future the insta360 team will update the app to be able to do this but as of right now you gotta do this in your computer right so first let's take a raw shot Seven, six, five, four, three, two. you crazy mother I've got some raw images from my weekend trip to Nelson beautiful place by the way um, I have connected my SD card to my computer you can also use a micro USB cable and connect the one X directly navigate to your file go to DCIM camera one and here you will find all the images and videos that you have taken and what you'll notice is there are two files for every image you have taken one is a dot INS and the other is a .dng file. The INSP file looks to be more like a JPEG which has all the contrast and highlights already baked into it. Not the one we want for our, for our edits. We want the DNG file. This is the raw file. You can also see by the size of the file that this contains more image data. To open this file you need a special 360 viewing software or you can just download the Insta360 Studio 2019. This is a free software which you can download directly from their website and I've, got, I've left the links in the description below. So get yourself that because it will help in your editing process. Pull your 360 images in here. There are a few things you can do here but for now we just want to export it directly. Before you export, be sure to uncheck use flow state stabilization. We do not want this because after editing the raw file, it will forget that it's a Insta360 ONE X file and it will make it a little bit harder to crop our photo, it will be a bit wobbly. So if you uncheck this then it just sort of exports like a square file, at least that's how I think of it. There is your exported file which you can take into your favorite editing software. In our case we will use Lightroom and do a quick edit. Also side note why we didn't take the DNG file straight from the SD card is because you'll get the photo directly as it was shot. Without the stitching it just looks like two fisheye images. After editing if you try and take it back into Studio 2019 it won't um, come up flat so you won't be able to crop out your images anyway. Here in Lightroom you can do your edits, I'll fast forward this part. If you want to know how I did my edit, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll try and cover that in another video. Once you're done with your editing, export out a JPEG file so that all your edits are merged into the image and then bring this into Insta360 Studio 2019. In the studio you can crop your image the way you like. If you are unfamiliar with the software, I suggest just try clicking around and you'll get the hang of it. It's a very simple and easy to use software. 
However, if you're still having trouble, comment down below and I'll do a quick overview of how I use the software to do my video and image reframing. Once you've got your image framed the way you want, you can simply click on the screenshot icon over here and this will crop out your JPEG and produce the image that you want. Right, so that's how you edit your Insta360 ONE X War photos. I'm really enjoying this camera. The perspectives that you get out of it, it's, it's quite amazing. It's almost drone-like in some of the shots. Um, if you enjoyed this photo, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and a like below. Subscribe if you want. I'll be doing more videos with Insta360 ONE X and a couple of other new fun toys that have just arrived. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.